We all know the power of music in videos, but when it comes to choosing where to get the music from, it can become very frustrating because on paper, they all seem similar, but they have huge differences that may impact the way you work. Today, I'm comparing the top services I have personally used, Epidemic Sound, Artlist, Audio, and Musicbed. Hey guys, I'm Raphael and welcome to the channel where our goal is to always fix it in camera and then finesse it in post. These services all have great things about them. I will tell you the things I like, the things that are similar, where they differ, the things that frustrate me, and ultimately which one I decided was best for me. Hopefully this will help you decide which is best for you. There are others, but these are the ones I've used personally. Epidemic, Artlist, Audio, and Musicbed for extended periods of time on multiple projects across multiple platforms. This is my real world review. So let's get started. This is how the services compare on paper. So as you can see, the price is comparable for all of them. Most of them have a monthly or yearly subscription. One of them has a lifetime membership option. They all have easy search. They have a variety of music styles. The number of tracks varies from each service, but they all add more music over time. First, Epidemic. It is very popular with YouTubers and I hear their music everywhere. So. Every time I search for a track, I feel like I've already heard that track on someone else's video. And if I feel that way, I'm pretty sure that the viewer will feel the same way watching my video. So the pros, it has a lot of music and it has sound effects and its subscription covers both for about $15 a month. One of the biggest benefits is the music stems where they provide separate tracks for vocals, guitars, drums, melody, bass, and other stuff for you to mix however you'd like. The search feature is fantastic for the most part, as well as one of my favorite features, the find similar feature. There is a month to month plan or you can pay for the year and save some money. Epidemic used to have a threshold for how many followers or views you had before you had to bump up to the higher paying tier, but that's no longer, so that's also a pro. The biggest downside is if you cancel your subscription, you can no longer use the music on new projects. The ones published on the web are okay, but anything new is not allowed. For the personal subscription, you can only link one channel, one YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, or podcast platform. For each additional channel on these socials, you'll need to get an additional subscription. Also, a $50 a month commercial subscription is required in order to clear content for clients or third parties that you work with. And if you decide you want to create a new channel, there's no easy way of swapping those channels. You'll need to cancel the current subscription connected to the old channel. Once you've canceled it, you'll be able to resubscribe and connect a new channel. Also, the sound effects don't feel like they're cataloged very well. For instance, with the human voice section, they have generic labeling like human voice clip number one, and it's hard to find very specific things. Overall, I would rate Epidemic really good if your focus is just a single YouTube channel with some extra socials that you control and you create content for. So next is Artlist. Artlist's unlimited license allows you to use the materials from the catalog in any video production on any platform worldwide. This license covers personal projects and even commercials. In short, everything a filmmaker would need. So the pros, any song or sound effects you download with an active subscription can be used in your films in perpetuity, meaning forever and on client work. The license is really, really solid and there is no limit to the amount of followers or views you have, which is fantastic. For the cons, Artlist doesn't have stems like Epidemic does, but they do have instrumental versions of each song and they have versions without the lead vocals, but the backing vocals are still present, which is a nice touch. They don't have the similar song feature, so it's a little harder to find songs that match each other. Sound effects aren't included in the subscription. That's an additional price that you have to pay. You also have to sign up for the full year. There is no month to month plan. I would rate Artlist as really good for you if you make more than YouTube or Instagram videos. If you do client work, corporate, wedding, short films, this is a great choice to add music and knowing that the license will cover you. Artlist license covers pretty much everything that you can do. The only thing that the Artlist license doesn't cover is broadcast television and theatrical release films. Audio is definitely the new kid on the block just starting their service in January, 2020, but they have a unique offering, a lifetime membership. And that's one of the biggest pros right out of the gate. I'm not sure how long they'll offer this lifetime membership, but it's a heck of a deal considering that the other services are roughly 150 to $200 a year. 
So for a two year investment, you can use this for years to come, especially if you make videos outside of YouTube's like for clients or weddings, corporate, the only thing that their license doesn't cover is broadcast or theatrical film releases. So if you stop making videos for a few years and then come back, first, their library is going to be larger and you won't have to sign up for another service again. This is golden. This is long-term thinking. And because they are new, they've been able to work out the best forward-thinking licenses for the music. Audio also has no limit to the amount of followers or views you have to use the service. Audio has really high quality music, some of my personal favorite, like Artlist has instrumental versions of most of their music. And they just launched their sound effects offering. So now the cons. So the biggest catch for me, because they're relatively new, just starting this past year, is I asked myself, will they be around five years from now? Well, the answer to that is, will any of these services be around five years from now? It's definitely a higher upfront cost and you need to buy the music and sound effects membership separately, but you only pay once, so that's long-term savings. And overall, because it is new, it has the smallest selection of all the services at the moment for both music and sound effects. And they're still in the process of clearing all their songs in their library for monetization. There was one thing that initially confused me a bit when in the process of licensing a song, there's a selection that needs to be made for the type of project the song will be used for. But after reaching out to someone at audio, they said it's best to select whatever most accurately describes your project or film and that it would not affect your license in any way. So awesome news, have at it. So I would rate audio similar to our list. It's a great option for people that do more than just YouTube or Instagram videos. It allows you to use their music and sound effects in any project that you're working on besides broadcast and theatrical releases, which is fantastic. And because it's a one-time payment, it makes the service that much more appealing for the long term. So the fourth service is Musicbed. And initially I wasn't going to include this one, but it is something that I have used and it was definitely the most frustrating for me. So I wanted to share that experience. But first, the pros. It is the cheapest monthly by far at $9 a month. But I put a big fat asterisk beside that because it's music only. They have a large selection of really good music. They also have this free song search for you feature, which is great. Punch in the mood, the genre, tempo, lyrics, or instrumental, even a reference track, and they'll find music for you. Now the cons. Just like Epidemic, it only covers one channel on the platforms, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch. No festivals, no weddings, no corporate work, no short films. The price goes up if you want to do more than just one channel, and it goes up even more if you have more than 5,000 subscribers. And if you want to do month to month, the price is even higher and they also don't have sound effects. This is the most frustrating thing about Musicbed. Nearly every video I did that I posted online got copyright claimed instantly, and I had to email support to get it cleared. It happened so often that it became routine, and I produced for a few other channels, so my clients were frustrated at me for this. So after three months, I stopped using them completely. So those are the four services that I have used personally. But how do you choose the one that's right for you? There are two options. One is simple, cost and quantity. And if you only have one channel like YouTube and you do minimal uploads, then go for the cheapest option. But if that's the case, I would recommend YouTube's own free library of music that you can use in all your videos. The second way to choose is a little bit more cerebral. It's like trying to describe why you like one song over another. It's a feeling, it's an emotion. I don't really know how to describe it properly, but there's something that connects you personally to the music. There's a visceral feeling that you get from a specific artist that is just missing from the others. It connects with you, with your mood. It really comes down to your preference. You will find that you really connect with a particular artist and you will use their work over and over again. And typically, I start with my favorite artists to see if they have any new material, and they usually do. The music on these services is fantastic. They are all great, but the artists are choosing their silos to produce music for a particular service. And my favorite artists are on Artlist and Audio. That's how I ended up choosing Artlist and Audio. I just preferred the artist and the type of feeling I was getting from the music. It may be because the other services are more common and I hear the music more often in the videos I watch and combined with my need to make something different enough to stand out, it was also an easier decision for the amount of work I produce outside of YouTube. My client work calls for a lot of music and Artlist and Audio cover that. I signed up for Artlist when I started this YouTube channel and you have to buy in for the full year. 
Audio launched in January 2020 with a lifetime membership. And with the amount of music that I use, it was a no-brainer to sign up for the lifetime membership. And as I've progressed through this year, I found that both Artlist and Audio have been great for the music selection. Audio is for life, and for me, that is a big win. If I choose to change my channel or put it on pause for a bit, I can always start up again. Each one of these services has a free trial period or some kind of money back guarantee. And all the links to the services are down below. So make sure you go check out the services and find the one that works best for you. Now that you know the music service choices, check out this video where I talk about how to choose the right music for your videos, as well as this video, how to mix your music into your videos for the best sound. As always, thanks for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe. I'm Raphael, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.